Alright guys, welcome back to this um, little tutorial of how to create a table of contents. My name is Juan and welcome to Blue Melon Design. Uh, here we have a continuation. We just, uh, on, to recap a little bit, we created styles for the elements we want to appear on the table of contents. In this case is the main heading and the little subheadings. Now the challenge we've got is, or what I want to do is, I'm going to create a text box first. And what we want to do is we want to create number lists. Now I've created two videos on number lists. You can actually have a look at them on bluemelondesign.com. You go to the blog, or alternatively, you can actually keep checking the YouTube channel, and you can find them there. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about how to create these level styles, but we do need to create. What we do first need to do is just type some words so we can stylize them and make them look the way we want. So first thing I want to do is. Um, as you can see here, I'm on my paragraph style and I've got basic paragraph. So, just to show you quickly, I'm going to start. The first thing is going to be main heading. Uh, and the main heading, basically, what I want it to be is these guys, the massive ones. To do that, I also want to have a tab added to it. So, you can see I've added a little tab. To turn hidden characters is command option I just to make sure we're actually having a look at these things and the only thing I need to do is that's the main heading we need to actually make it look give it some style so you can actually click your drop down menu select the typeface you want you know like things like that it's very simple and then save it I've actually gone into my paragraph styles and to save me a little bit of time on this video I've created three styles but I'm really gonna use main heading and subheadings the title is just the title up there. I'm not going to worry about that one. I'm just going to worry about these two. So you can see that when I go main heading, that's how I want my main heading to look like. I've actually created a number style. You can see that it's a number, a number list, and I've saved it as a paragraph style, and I've actually determined the distance of my tab. All that can be saved on your paragraph styles. And then the next element is just going to be my inside element. Right, and it's going to have a tab too. Now the inside element, just like we saw before on, on previous videos, I want it to be actually indented. So it's inside, which is exactly what I did here in my subheadings. I've actually made it a little bit different in terms of it's not all, all caps. Changed to a second level style, 1.1, pretty cool. I actually fix my leading, which if you look at your tabs, is the letter, it's right there. Leader, letter, <laughs> and it's got the same distance on my tabs. So you first, the first thing you do is, it's pretty much how I want my head, my table of contents to behave. Now you don't need to type anything else. I just have two that they're going to help me to create these styles. Now these are on the previous video we created what we wanted on the table of contents. On this video we're just doing what we want, um, how we want the table of contents to be displayed. So about my main heading, in other words, the name to be on that typeface and with that number. And also I want a page number at the end. And also the inside element, in this case, keywords of the brand, I want it to be 1.1 and it'll be with this attribute and this sort of leader applied to it. So just to give this short, First step we did before, paragraph styles for to tell and design what to put in the table of contents. This video it's more about styling how the table of contents is going to look. And in the next video, we're actually going to create the table of contents. I know this is a quickie one, but it's just I want to break it into little steps so we don't get confused. Hope you enjoy it and see you in the next video. Bye!